Welcome to the nightclub guys, it's your host, the Night Wrencher. Now I've been uh, in communication with one of my subscribers, Cool Mo, asking if I can go ahead and do a D-pin and repin video on the Delphi connectors that are on the MSD6014. And the reason for that is that he purchased the adapter harness for the SmartSpark LS that goes from 6010 to 6012 to the, the Daytona SmartSpark LS. Uh, when I called Technoline, they said that it was compatible with the 6014. Uh, which it technically is because the connectors are the same and it will plug into the SmartSpark LS adapter harness. But the actual pinout is different. So he's actually got to unpin the MSD harness and repin it to match the Daytona harness. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that exactly. As you can see, it's only three parts. You've got the main body with the wires on it. You've got this, uh, the little lock, the locking me mechanism that uh, holds the the little pins in place and then you've got the wire separator so we're going to be doing this on the bigger version the bigger plug on the MSD6014 harness and for this first part you're just going to need a flathead screwdriver so you're going to stick it in between the side of the housing and this little uh, retainer so you're going to go ahead and pry up like this and it'll lift up part of the connector you guys can see that this part's lifted up now and now you're going to go ahead and lift up the other side like that now you've got both sides up and then you're just gonna go back and forth until it pops up completely. As soon as it's far enough, you can just take your fingers and just pull it out of the way. Next, you're gonna go ahead and wanna separate or remove the wire separator. So I've already started uh, removing it. Uh, didn't realize that I had to do this on video. So I, there we go, I popped it back in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wire separator again. And so it just lifts up this pin right here and this pin right there just lifts up, up and out. Um, and this one, you don't have to remove it completely. You just have to back it off far enough so that the wires don't get caught when you're trying to uh, repin them. If you want to remove it completely, it's actually not that difficult. You just kind of have to turn it sideways and then just pull it and turn it until it finally you get it out. The male connectors are pretty much the same as the female connectors. Uh, these would be the female connectors. These ones with the spades would be the male connectors uh, and they fit up just like this. So. Essentially, uh, normally on the OEM applications, you should it should have like a little tab right here in the middle that you would be able to pull on that tab and pull it out. Instead of having to stick a screwdriver in here, it would just have a tab. Uh, these MSD ones are basically like tamper resistant, so they don't include the little tab for you to be able to remove this. And it doesn't really give you enough leverage along the side to pick it up with the screwdriver. So what you can do is you can, uh, you got a couple of different options. You can probably drill like a little hole right here toward the bottom. And then with the pick, um, push the little connector, uh, the, little, uh, the little retainer, push that up. Uh, same thing, you would do another drill, and, uh, drill another hole on the other side. Another option is to get a pick that has a 90 degree bend or an S bend, and then try to fit it inside one of these holes and try to lift it up that way. Uh, that probably drilling out the two holes would probably be the easiest thing. They don't have to be that big, they just have to be big enough for the pick um, but if you if you're messing with the OEM um, GM stuff then it should have a little tab that you could just grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it out the next step really after that is actually getting the wires out of the connector so for this uh, explanation we're gonna go ahead and pull out the red uh, power wire which is this one that's right here in the corner so you're gonna want to grab the uh, connector with one hand and you're going to want to pull out the wire with your index finger and thumb so you're going to go ahead and pull on the wire right here and you're going to see that there's a little lock right here so you're going to want to take your pick and you're going to go ahead and push against the lock while also pushing the wire through so as you guys can see that's all it takes then you go ahead and pull the wire out and it's out if you want to do the same thing to the ground wire that's right below it, you can do the same thing. You stick your pick in between the lock and the ground wire, and it comes out. To put them back in, you just put them back in the same. These are directional, so you do have to you have to remember how they're supposed to go. You've got uh, the, the side with the two little dimples here, and then you've got a side with like a little hole. The side with the hole, that's the side that faces the lock. The lock is facing the center. To put them back in, you just slide them back in, and you're gonna hear a click. And then you're going to take the other one and you're going to hear a click as well. So you take uh, the side that has a hole on it, put it back in the hole right here, 
and then and you're good to go. These are all locked in place. The cap pops back in place. Good to go. And then you just put the wire separator back in. The wire separator isn't essential, but it does uh, tend to keep everything nice and tidy and clean and make sure that these things don't accidentally pull out, prevents any kind of movement, and uh, keeps everything pretty safe. Uh, I'm not gonna put this in right now. So on the second connector, we've got a gray wire right here that we're gonna wanna pull out. This is the tack wire. So we're gonna go ahead and hold the connector and then with the rest of my hand, pull on the wire. You're gonna go ahead and lift on this lock. And there we go. Wire comes right out, put it back in, you put it back in. If you wanna put the wire separators back on, it's not that difficult. Just open up the middle of the wires up. Grab the wire separator that you need, stick it in between the wires. Uh, make sure to guide them to the appropriate channels and then guide them on the appropriate channels on the other side. After the wires are guided in correctly, you just push and that's all good to go. You take this little, little cap that you took off earlier. It's uh, not directional, so you can put it either way and you just push it in right there and you're pretty much good to go so that pretty much a quick and dirty way to unpin repin these connectors now i'm going to go ahead and make a diagram for cool mo this video was for you i will see you guys all in the next one night wrencher out